up everyone i'm back with another video um this time i'm going to try to go into more detail of what it is that i'm doing um so first i've already added the tips and i've shaped my nails um i'll put a link of where i got these tips from in the description um so i'm adding this acrylic this is from valentino beauty pure and i believe it's in the color classic nude and um I'm, i didn't speed this part up for you guys i'm going to keep this first nail in real time and then after i finish this nail then i'll um speed up the rest of the fingers for you guys um, I also added some tips in there so you'll see some tips pop up on the screen as you continue throughout the video so I'm using this brush I will also leave my description um, leave the link in the description for where I got this brush from and I'm adding my acrylic little by little so I'm going to be using quite a few small beads until I work my way up into the cuticle area also um, make sure you are keeping those sidewalls nice and neat because that is how you will maintain your shape throughout the acrylic process um, so yeah I'm going to be picking up small beads and I'm going to be working my way up towards cuticle Okay, so again, make sure you guys are taking your brush and keeping those sidewalls nice and clean. Now for my acrylic, I pick up a, I dip my brush into the monomer and pick up a small bead of acrylic and I press, place it to where I want it to be on the nail and I use a padding and pressing motion to kind of spread the bead out where I want it so here you can see I'm placing it where I want it to be and I'm kind of patting down and pressing and I'm going to use my brush to brush the rest of the acrylic down towards the tip of the nail so I pat and press where I want the acrylic to be and then I use my brush to pull the acrylic the excess acrylic down towards the tip of that nail so I'm just pressing it making sure that it's not lumpy and I'm going around that cuticle just in case there's any acrylic there and just again pressing and patting down to make sure that it is nice and smooth So now I'm close to that cuticle area. When I do my cuticle area, I take really, really small beads of acrylic and I place it to where it's almost on the skin, but not on the skin because you don't, you don't want it to actually be on the skin because that causes the lifting. So just close enough to where it's not actually touching the skin and I'm Again, using that padding motion to make sure the bead is where I want it to go and then I'm going to use sweeping motion to kind of bring the rest of that, of that acrylic down towards the tip of the nail and then here I'm just adding extra beads um, because just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and filling in those gaps So here I'm going to 
this now speed up this part of the video I'm taking that classic nude color and I'm applying it to all of the nails remember you want to pick up your bead and pat it and press it to where you want it to be and then use a sweeping motion to pull the rest of your acrylic down towards the nail so key thing you want to remember is pat and press and then sweeping motion to pull that acrylic down and then you wipe that ex excess acrylic off of your brush onto the paper towel and then you repeat the process so pick up a bead pat press and then brush the, the rest of the acrylic down and then you're going to do this to all of the nails and then i will see you guys when it is time for the next step
to all of the nails and now it's time to go back in and reshape and define that shape as well as smooth out the nail so I'm taking these files I got these files from Amazon these are 8080 grit so they're pretty sharp or pretty rough I like to use a rough nail file because I feel like it helps me keep my shape the sharpest um, so as you can see I'm going in on the side walls I'm cleaning that shape up and then I'm going to take the nail file and kind of hold it in a claw motion you'll see um, see it coming up I kind of take my fingers and put the file in between my 
in between my index finger and middle finger and I kind of use it to smooth out that nail right here so I put, keep my thumb on the top of the file and I kind of go in a back and forth motion over the nail this helps you keep your nail nice and smooth um, and here there's not really a lot of lumps and bumps here but you kind of want to do this just in case um, so that way you ensure that you are um, you're having a smooth smooth nail at the end file and this with this drill bit I'm just going to kind of go across of the across of the nail and get some of that dust um, also I'm going to be kind of smoothing that nail out even more um, I also like to take this drill bit and go around the cuticle area to kind of smooth out that cuticle area um, your drill doesn't have to be super fast at, for this part um, you're kind of just going back and forth back and forth until you do all of the nails um, again I'm just kind of doing it to get rid of that excess dust from the filing from the hand file and this just helps me keep it um, smooth so this is just an extra step that you can do to make sure that your nails are smooth polish to do that green side tips I got this from Vanessa nails I'll have it in the description and this is in the color pastel green and this brush I also got this brush from Amazon um, also try to find it so I can put it put it in the description for you guys now this is a pretty difficult step even for me um, I just say take your time to make sure that your lines are straight um, that's a good thing about using this brush this skinny brush you can kind of helps you out a little bit but you still have to take your time you still have to be pretty precise um, but if you mess up a little bit it's okay just kind of wipe it off if you've already dried it then kind of drill off if it's that bad and start again 
Um, because like I said, this is kind of a difficult step. You have to be extremely patient to make sure that your lines are super straight.
all of the nails you're going to put it in the light and you're going to cure it because you're going to have to do this step twice to kind of make sure that color is um, very pigmented um, also I know this is kind of not as clear for you guys I wasn't really paying attention to the camera because I was trying to focus and make sure that those lines were pretty straight so I apologize for that um, but again just make sure you go you go over the color more than once I could have gone over it three times but I thought twice was enough so you're gonna do this again to all the nails and then you're gonna cure it I cure mine for about a minute maybe a minute and a half and then we're going to add some gold foils on the nail and we'll be almost finished. is over now for this part this is probably one of my favorite steps I ordered this gold leaf I got this from Amazon as well a while back and I'm going to be taking my brush that I use for acrylic and then you kind of just dip it in some leftover monomer and you're going to kind of get that nail to be a little bit wet so that the foil can stick on there because I'm not I did not encapsulate this so I'm going to basically adding it on top of the nail um, so I'm going to be using my brush to pick up those little foils and I'm placing it on the nail I did not put it on the green for the set just kind of in that nude area and I'm going to do this until I feel I've got enough on there and then we're going to add a clear top coat gel top coat and for this first nail I'm going to kind of apply the gel pretty gentle because these gold foils are not glued on there so if I kind of brush too hard they will come off so just be mindful of that part now I'm going to add this clear top coat to the rest of the nails and that is the final step um, thank you guys for watching I know this was a pretty lengthy video but um, I am working on my camera angle so I thought this was a really up close and personal um, video so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed it and leave me some comments so I can get back to you guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video